Hello, and welcome to Gaz's Gaming Revival Guide, again. Uh, so, if you haven't watched one of my videos before, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find uh, the love for gaming again, which we may have lost as we've gotten older, or just, even if you're younger still, you just can't get into games anymore. So I'm trying to find these hidden gems and these, um, mainly in the early access area, to see if we can kickstart that love for gaming again um, also giving some mental health uh, I wouldn't call it advice but I'd give you a quote and I'll say my review on the quote and give them the game review as well um, anyway so today we have got a relatively new game called Sengoku Dynasty uh, it came out the 10th of August 2023 uh, single player and co-op uh, with mostly positive reviews, I have read reviews, and that's a hundred. Uh, sorry, one thousand six hundred sixty-seven reviews so far. Uh, and the price is at twenty-four ninety-nine on Steam. I have read the reviews. I think um, for an early access game, twenty-five pound is quite a high price, and I think uh, people are a bit disappointed that there's no. A lot of them said the same thing. There's no. Um, voice actors for any of the characters, so it's all dialogue reading, um, which doesn't bother me too much to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, this is an uh, like an open world uh, village builder. Um, I don't know an awful lot about it. I know it's um, the next game after, there was one called Medieval Dynasty, and I did give that a go actually. Um, it can be a bit of a sluggish game, sluggish, sluggish, sluggish or slow, yeah. Um, game, um, yeah, it's a building game, really. Um, the reason I didn't like Dynasty is because I didn't know what I was expecting in the fir uh, medieval Dynasty. And the first thing I did was run into a village and try to kill people. And once I realised I couldn't kill people, I was like, Nah, I'm not playing this. But um, they've watched a little bit more on this one. So, okay, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we have spawned on a beach off a shipwreck, I presume. I didn't watch the beginner video, that's not me. Oh, tick stick. Right. I have played about five, ten minutes of this the other night. Um, I learnt my lesson from the last previous games. I think it's better just to get in, get the uh, controls right, and get the sounding right as well. So, um, yeah, so I came in, spent ten minutes on it, and so I sort of know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, maybe I don't. Right, okay. Find other survivors is our first mission. I presume this is the only way. Let's pick some stuff up along the way, shall we? Cool. Let's have some big pockets to fit these all in. Uh, oh, don't make me search them properly. Oh no, I remember now. He's on the shore here. Talk to Akko. Hello, Akko. Refugee. Akko, you are alive. I'm going to talk to you later. Um, yes. I, when the ship went down, oh gods, don't move, you are hurt. The English isn't very good. Uh, I'll be alright. It's just, I'm cold. I, I, I can read, by the way, it's just the full stop, so I'm trying to read it out how it's spelled out, you know. Uh, stay here, I'll find a way to help. A campfire for starters, there may be a tent to protect you from the wind. Uh, I'll need tools to set it up. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so gather three sticks. Already done that. Craft an axe. Right, I saw that. Look at us. Look at us. Right, what is my inventory then? I right, okay. Let's put that in my cl uh, quick slot down there. And cut down the tree. Let's go for the big boy. Okay, I can just hold it. That's good. That's good. God, I was about to say it doesn't look like I'm even making a dent on there. What's the tree falling down like? Oh, not bad. Not bad. What about cutting it? Oh, missed it. Wow. That was... Wow. I actually hit twice. What do I need? Cut down the tree and collect... Lo oh, shit. I need logs, not... Oh, okay. I can actually pick up logs rather than... Oh, I've made planks now, haven't I? Craft a hammer. Oops. Do I have to put that away? Yeah. 
wooden hammer right build a campfire okay a little bit of frame rate drop what's that deer over there doing <laughs> come here boy can I kill it ah you bastard okay so what am I just building it here am I okay so oh, I don't think I've got to equip that as well right let's equip the hammer into that slot there Inventories open up the inventory. Sorry, eyes open up the inventory, but eyes and close the inventory. You have to press escape, so that's quite annoying. Right, basic structures. Campfire, what's that one then? Campfire cooking pot. Okay, it's just left click. And it goes up as percentage. What am I short of then? Stones, okay. Click some stones. Yeah, that's right. You just lay there and sleep. I'll do all the work. No problem. I know he's hurt, but still. Uh, right. Build a tent. See what's in here. Is that a tent? Okay. Oh, I didn't even see what that needed. I think it was sticks and grass. Right. Not enough resources. Okay. So let's get sticks. Um, I think I saw four or six. I can't remember. Let's get six just in case. And I wasn't counting. <laughs> Is there anything in this wreckage that I could use? Oh, this bucket. Take that. Better be able to update my clothes. Okay. Oh, I didn't need six sticks. That's fine. Six grass. How do I get the grass? Oh, there we are. Grass. Okay. Just got to pick it. Two... Three, four. Oh god, don't make me run somewhere else for it. Oh, some there. That's the closest stuff. This is my problem, I've got no patience in these games. I do like the building games, but yeah. I'm the type of guy who play Minecraft on creative mode. No, I don't really. I like survival mode. Yay, talk to Akko. Right. Are you feeling better now? I bet he's fine now. Yes, thank you. I'm going to be alright. Have some fresh fish here. Let me cook it for us. Go on then. You do something. What do we do now? We had supplies on the ship. Here we have nothing. When do we move on? We don't move on. We can't spend our whole lives running away. Uh, look around. There's fertile land, tall trees, fresh water. And I didn't see any soldiers guarding them from the ordinary folk. I believed in the legend of the peasant kingdom. And I don't intend to stop now. Maybe you're right. But how do we start? Is this even a village over there or just ruins? Is this even a village over there or just ruins? Is that even a village? I'll go take a look around. I'm sure I can convince someone to help us. Okay. Go to the nearest village. Right. Well, let's go in with my axe so I look intimidating. So no one starts me. Let's collect some stuff while we're down here. I wonder if I can get a maximum... Okay, so there's eight sticks there. Can I just keep picking up sticks? That'll be good. I like that. That's more my sort of game where you've got... I know it sounds a bit boring, but... You've got old uh, unlimited inventory. It's a building game at the end of the day. I don't want to be running back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I can carry like 12 sticks so far. That's pretty good. That's the worst, is when you can carry like three sticks at a time. 13. Let's just keep picking up stuff then. Okay, let's, it doesn't make for a very exciting video. Right, where am I going then? Uh, go to the nearest village. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I'm going to steal anything I can find. Can I hit him? Oh, I've got... No, I can't hit him. I Ah, oh, friendly fire's prohibited. Okay, I had to try. Uh, mining deposits with a pickaxe. In that valley, there are many mining deposits that contain stone, iron, or clay, or ice. The bigger the deposit, the better quality pickaxe you need to mine it, like Minecraft. <laughs> uh, after hitting the deposit a couple of times, you will completely destroy it. Note that iron ore deposits are very, rare, oh, pretty rare, but there is a chance to find them in caves. Ice deposits are available only during winter. Oh, cool! It's got like a seasonal thing. Okay, I'm starting to like the sound of this game. It's not a very exhilarating game, but it's. Can I steal that? Can I steal that? No, I can't steal that. That is. <laughs> that's my main. Uh, that's gonna be my main trait of my guys. I just steal shit. I'm not up for that, you know, working hard and stuff. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come on a game to work hard. I 
Okay, to get away from the real life. Right, well, I'm stealing that. Yep. All my right. Is there take all? Nice. Nice, I got it all. Sorry, pal, but you know. The game's the game. Can I sleep in this tent? Right, you better be cooking us some fish. Okay, so where am I going now? I probably should stay on the path if I'm trying to find a village. Yes, here's the village. Let's get some grass. I probably need that for other things. Oh, I hate holding. What that do? <gasps> There's a village. Oh, wow. Why has this got to be the village we wash upon their shore? Why can't it be, like, a really cool place that's not completely burnt to the crisp? Wow. We can't really call this home, can we? Ask for help. Well, I presume that's you, you're the only one around. Yes, okay. No hello, nothing. Uh, my friend almost died in the shipwreck. Uh, you have to help us settle here. Ah, uh, oh, right, that was you. I saw how you cared for your friend. It's really touching. How can you see from here? You're lying. I must say, I may have misjudged you at first glance. What do you mean? What did you think? I'd be glad to welcome you here, if it were up to me. But it isn't. New settlers need permission from the village council. Yes, yeah, go on then, show me the council. The body's burning in that house over there. Uh, you mean there's a council in charge? Oh, there we are. <laughs> You're in my mind judging these here ruins. Of course not. But the, hello there. But the, <laughs> but the village is formerly still here. Well, I guess so, but... You know you might be onto something. The village... Oh, sorry. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's no council to keep us out. I mean, you walk in a fine line here, but I guess no harm will come from it to the rest of the valley. What This dialogue is just pointless. Uh, good, where do I start? Uh, where well, the bell tower is in ruins, and it's the heart of any village. Without it, it's just a piece of burnt out land. So can I rebuild it? That could be difficult, but luckily for you... God. Sorry, I can't. I can't. Handcraft and Adzi? Ads? Aids? <laughs> Aids? Handcraft Aids? Is this where it started? Uh, okay. What's Aids? Adzi. Adzi, Adzi, Ad. Oh! Stone Adzi. Okay, I've got enough stuff for that. Okay, let's put that in. Slot three. Oh, your stuff breaks as well. I've seen the little health bar next to it. Okay, get 20 planks, for example, by using Adzion logs. I did planks earlier, didn't I, with the axe? I'm sure I did. Right, fine. Can I chop this down? Oh, wow. I'm getting like charcoal and shit from it and sticks. Oh, I don't need that, do I? I need planks. Barely making a mark, but I mean, it just suddenly falls down. And boom! Oh. Right, did I? Okay, that was all the. What do you want? Go away! Follow me. Okay. Oh, I just turned it into a box. I double clip. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a while. Right. I've got my 20 planks. Ask Tosh... To, Toshichi. For the bell. Ask Toshichi. Okay. Talk. Right. No, you're not the guy. Oh, no. <laughs> not sure who's hanging to you. I don't care. See, that place the famous Enduro drew his last breath for the soldiers of the church. Oh, I'm not saying all these words. All right, let's finish this later. I have to go. Yeah, goodbye. I want to build. I want to progress. I don't want to stand here talking all the time. Please tell me there's an easy way to get rid of these burnt down buildings. I don't want to go hit them with an axe a half hour. Eat and drink to replenish your food. Right. Okay. I have all the materials for the bell tower. Let me see. These planks look a bit rough, but I guess they can't... Oh, shut up. God, just... So demanding. 
Uh, bell towers built using the unique alarm bell item are very important structures. A radius around the de uh, them designates your village. Build bell towers away from bandits and neutral villages. Close to any resources, uh, resource mother loads. You can also use that structure to fast travel between towers uh, you have built or encountered. Most importantly, you can use it to progress the game by ending the current season and start the next one. Oh, interesting. Oh, you can build your first village anywhere you want. Decide to set the ruins of Sosogi and stay close to its denizens. Or explore the map and find a spot that more suits your style. And don't worry if you don't find the perfect location on your first try. When you progress the story, increase your dynasty legend level and ask the local abots for permission, you will eventually get more bells. An opportunity will build more villages. Okay, so I've got the bell. Alright, do I want to stay here? Let's have a look at the map. Wow. Bloody hell. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, no, I think we should go a little further on. Oh, it will be easy... I just don't want to have to clear all this out. Oh, I'm such a moaner, aren't I? Um, let's, let's just travel on a little bit. I don't really want to stay here, but I do need to eat. Okay, so where can I put the bit? Screw it. We'll stay here. We'll stay here. Let's get rid of this. Wow. So I destroyed my axe. Brilliant. How do I build a new axe? I need stones. Brilliant. Okay, let's find stones. And there's no stones here. Right, no, screw it, I'm not staying here now. You've put me off. This stupid building, broke my axe, and now I don't want to be here. What is... Is that the person that I was? I helped? I don't know. I don't really want to tear things down. Is that stone? Nope, I've got to pickaxe that. I've got to pickaxe that. Ooh. We should probably eat soon. Um, oh. Drink some alcohol. Put that in four. Put that in five. Drink to the freaking weekend. Uh, right. Is there anything else I can steal before I go? What are these then? Straw. Yep, I shall steal some straw. Thank you very much. Straw, 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 straw. I'll take it all. And let's begin our adventure. Um, right, where's the path? Maybe we should just build just up above this place. Oh, I should be looking for rocks as well, shouldn't I, to make my axe. There's a river here. But it doesn't seem to be very much flat land around. So, it continues looking on. And I seem to have found a village. Now, let's see what sort of interactions I do here. I'm really not <laughs> indulge myself in the concept of this game of building. So far, I've just been running around and exploring. Uh, it's more of an adventure game to me. I do like it, though. Like I like how big the map is. I like um, how far you can travel. And Hello? Anyone home? If not, I'm going to steal all your stuff. This reminds me of the old... Uh, Elder Scrolls games where you just sneak into someone's house and just steal everything, but you can't steal anything here. Um, anything else about... I picked up a bucket earlier, didn't I? Wonder, I ooh, hello! Sucky. I'll have that. Drink that. Okay, so that's been my biggest accomplishment so far, is drinking alcohol. Where is everyone then? So, can I put a bell tower here then? Because this would be ideal, because this has actually got some structures. And there's a main path coming to it. Uh, so let's go to um, basic structures. Special project workshop. We're looking for the bell tower. I don't want to build... Uh, let's demolish village structures. Here we go. Should be here. Should not shared. Guard tower. Bell tower. Oh, I can build it here. I can own this village. Look at that. Let's get a head start on things then, shall we? And ting. So I should be able to I should have all the stuff, shouldn't I? There we go. This village is mine. There we go. Talk to Tashichi. Where's he? 
I'm not going all the way back there. No, please. There's 450 meters away. Oh, I said I can go on and do what I want. Oh, God's sakes. Oh, God. Who are you? Scavenger, go away. I'm finally here, right. Tower has been rebuilt. Well done. The bell will ring, just like the old days. Well, not for you, it won't, because no, it's not even here. It's time to build a house. After all that time I spent escaping, after seeing my own house burnt down by the Lord's warriors, I just wonder what it feel like. Who cares? Your house burned? I can relate. I have the same memories, and I kept returning them too long. They <sighs> just reminds me of dying like two. Oh, what did me and my cousin call it? Oh, Dialogue Simulator 2. It, it was just, it was too much, man. It was just, I'm not sure I would enjoy the voice acting in this because it just get my nerves. Uh, building a new, uh, building a new is more important than clinging to the old. If you need some material, feel free to take part, uh, apart the ruins here. Okay, I can go back to my village now, can I? I want to go talk to that stupid scavenger girl, see if I can employ her to come work for me. Oi, you little skip rat, come here. Right. So over there, the gallows. Yes, the price of freedom, blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to know that. I saw it in my own eyes. I'll never forget. Um, I just want you to work for me. I don't care about this rubbish. Don't tell me that. Oh, what a... Ah. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I don't really want the resource. I'd rather collect the stuff than waste my axe. Right, let's head back to the village. Right, I swear to God, if I build this and it tells me to go back to the same guy, I'll cry. Right. Okay, hammer. Um, where was it? It was village structures, wasn't it? Small house I need to build. Shed, guard tower, bell tower. Well... Trade village, wells, farming, so it's not under there. Buildings, okay. House buildings. House and buildings again. Small house, that's what I need. Okay. Uh, buildings are the backbone of the village, serving as houses, workplaces or storage spaces. The, the construction process is divided into stages. Each stage must be completed for the next one. You can also modify certain buildings parts at any time, change their type of material. Note that most buildings require you to finish them before the construction is complete. No shit. Let's, this would be my little house back here. Okay, so... What do I need? I don't know what I need. Did it say? Okay. What's a small house need? Let's have a look. It doesn't say! How do I... Deliver resources, open menu, modify, stone support foundations, no, let's just, ah, oh, any logs, seven, okay, I got you now, right, let's get some logs in the work then, logs in the work, logs in the go, what are you doing, ah, oh, I'm using the wrong tool, my bad. Oh, I think my little house is coming on nicely. We don't need this. Oops. Okay. Let's see you change stuff. Let's not play with anything yet, though. There's my door. What do you mean? Oh. I got loads of planks. I'm sure I did. Oh, you son of a bitch. Let's just put the sticks in there and go get some <coughs> more planks. Excuse me. There you go, the finishing touches. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Oh my god, I'm back and talk to that guy again! He's 500 meters away! Oh. Listen, Toshiki, Toshichi, 
I'm not being funny, but look at where you're living, and then come see where I'm living. I've got three houses built already. Yes, I didn't build the first two, but still. Come live there so I don't have to run 500 meters every time you want to talk to me. Get a telephone. I have built the house. Already? That's impressive. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, maybe you should expand. Build a foraging or woodcutting hut. I can show you how to do it. Are you going to come up there and show me, or are you going to stay down here? But overall, time to settle down, eh? No, this is just the beginning. I want to build a place for everyone. Everyone? <laughs> My family, friends, neighbours, everyone from back home. Other wanderers like me. Uh, wait, wait, this may be going too far. The people here are afraid of mis and mistrustful. They will never accept a whole flock of vagrants settling here. I convinced you. Don't you think I can convince them all as well? I won't be, I won't be as easy with the others. If I were you, I'd start slow, not scare everyone away with a little vision of you. Oh, you are treading a fine line, my friend. Um, people have to get to know you first, and the best way to make the instructions is to offer help. Absolutely not. I'm here for myself, myself only. First person I need to help is Akko. I can finally offer her a place to live. Oh, it is a woman. Uh, but do go on. Who should I talk No, I don't want him to go on. Tell me about the warrior then. Ah, the warrior. He's a bit, well, fancies himself a protector of the people. Oh, he's at my camp already. He puts on an air of a warrior, but he has no lineage to speak of. He's more one of us. Oh, that's not very nice. Well respected by some, hated by others. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, tell me about the priestess. I'm not even going to try that name. Is our Maiko, a priestess in charge of the local shrines. She's a gentlewoman, worried about all the kami and the divine spirits turned away from us, or actually we have. No, I don't want any spirituality or religion in my town, thank you. Oh, I don't want to talk. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, 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 blah. That's enough for now. Villagers recruitment. You will not be alone in your efforts to rebuild the Nata Valley. To recruit any refugee, you need to ask them if they're willing to join you. Your friend Akko is no exception. If they agree, you need to prepare a spare bed for them. Next, open the Dynasty Management menu and go to the Population tab and look for the people with the refugee tag. Assigning them beds will make them villagers and your new responsibility. To find out more... To find more refugees and bells to build more villages, continue the main story until you meet the local abbots. Next page. Oh, I don't care about villagers' needs, it's all about my needs. Basic at first, more advanced later, you're expected to satisfy your villagers' needs. Each season, your people will demand food, beverages and other goods. Um, place proper items inside dynasty storage containers and expect them to be consumed on season change. Fail to satisfy the needs and your villagers' happiness will decrease. Low happiness means lower production efficiency and a chance to leave you forever. Toggling needs toggling needs to high consumption will increase happiness if properly satisfied. Oh my god. Fortunately your village is not able uh, only about demands. They're also an effective workforce. Use them to grow or to produce enough items to satisfy their needs to work. A villager needs to have a bed assigned. Next open the population tab and assign the workplace to a village uh, person. Or open the job tab and assign a person to the workplace. Then set the production recipe and amount of the workplace pop up, just like with needs. The pop production happens on season change. You need to assign a job to yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, let's go get this bitch from down the water and there goes my torch. Hey Akko, remember that time I saved your life? Come make food for my village. I carry good news, the village is reborn, come join me. You're unbelievable. Well, you know, <laughs> it's not the first time I've heard that. Uh, that makes me so happy. Just tell me where my house is and I'll get to work. Can I not get a horse? Come on. A horse at least. Or maybe two dogs and a little wheelie cart that can pull me along. Let me ride on the back of a deer. To be fair, <clears throat> sticks being one of the big ones you need. It's quite good, like, you can just collect bushes, you can get sticks off the floor, you get sticks when you chop uh, the trees down. It's, I do like how it gives you more than one um, resource uh, for the sticks, or from a particular thing, so it's easy to get. Right, roof's done. Let's get your stupid little stove on. Uh, just need stones. And then I can assign... Uh, this bed then, why do I have to use a hammer to put on straw? 
Okay, so I just need nine stones. Look at her. She's got it landed. She's right next to the little river. She wakes up every morning. She can hear the river running. Oh, how nice. And I put my stupid bed up the top there. With all the other village idiots. No, I don't want tall grass. Here goes the final touches. Who are you? Go away. Go on, give me some food. How much for soup? How do I buy it? 30 go. How much got zero? Okay, how do I... Do you want some eggs? I've got some bird eggs. Yeah. Take, uh... Four. Yeah, I'll take that. There we are. Uh, what else can I sell you? Do I need the sake? Nah. Give me a hundred. Nice. Uh, what about feathers? Oh, I may need feathers. I shouldn't really be selling all the stuff that I may need. Right, get out of here. Now, who are you? Why is everyone coming in this house? Go away. And the final touch is... Ta-da! Right, how do I sign this bed? Right, move. Let's move it to there. I don't know what that does. Open up menu. No, don't want to do that. Right, how do I assign this bed then? Come on, show me. Change? No, I can't change it. Well, if I put my hammer away, now can I do it? No, I can just sleep. Oh, I'm going to sign this one for mine, and then she can have the top one. I want the one down by the river. This biatch can have the top one. I want the riverbed one. Go on, run, my friend. Run. Nope, can't get under there. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. Cool. Alright, so how do I sign the bed? Hey, I've assigned a bed. I don't think I need to do the second house, but it is what it is. So, let's go jobs. You can cook here. I want you to cook eggs. Oh, yeah, I already did this, didn't I? Assign a villager. Well, I'm trying to assign a villager. How can I sign a villager? Worker. Level. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. How do I sign a villager? Uh, cook meat as well. Okay, population. You. Sign job. Here we go. You cook. You cook. You clean. Uh... How do I... Oh, gosh. Yes, cook. We have no food storage. Wonderful. She's going to be... So... Oh, she's angry. Well, listen, love. You've just joined, and you're angry already. Don't be such a little mare. Um, let's see if I can book... Uh, uh, build some storage. That's the one. Okay, I built the food storage. I put the food in the food storage. Now... Dynasty, jobs, you, cook me meat. What is going on? <sighs> okay, so basically I've worked out, <clears throat> those are my personal storage. Okay, I have to build a whole separate building for village storage. So, I've also built a well for water, everybody needs water. And I've built, this is what I'm building over here, is a uh, water storage. Now, this is the warrior that is that other guy spoke about that I need to help. I'm going to finish the water area. I'm going to see if I can get the warrior on board. See if I can make him become, yeah, become a hunter. Although I should probably build a hunter's shack first. So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go on with it then. We've got some building to do. Okay, so I've progressed a bit more. I've got my water storage. I've got my food storage. I've got a carpenter's hut. I, I can't build the hunter's hut yet. So I, I, at least I can get someone to cut wood for me because I've gone for about 56 axes and uh, I've had collected too many logs. There's some wood storage over there. I didn't even know I was supposed to build half of this because you can put wood storage in the carpenter's hut. So I don't really understand. Um, next what I want to do is I want to do a mission for the warrior to see if we can get the warrior on board. Um, I'm going to have to build him a house is the problem. Right, where are you? They're always hiding inside somewhere. Well, I seem to have found him in my bed. Do you mind getting up, please? Toshishi told me you might need some help. 
I don't need help from anyone, and right now I'm busy with that damn kid. What kid? Uh, there's no one here. Damn wimp more like it. Kikumatsu told him to go and practice hunting. He sure is taking a sweet time. Where is he? Probably hiding in the hills behind the hunting hut and whimpering. How long has he been away? Long enough and I can see he's not the only one wasting my time. Goodbye. Alright, so let's track that quest. I missed it. Uh, main quest? Okay, what's the side quest? Is it in there? No. Um, where is it? Okay, that's the one I'm doing. So, shopping spears, new recruits, new peers, some love. To them, how you doing? Right, talk to you. that was was that him? I don't even know. Okay, that's the quest I'm going to do anyway. Right. 140 meters away. That's fine by me. I've got lots of food. I've got stuff on the go. I don't know how the hell that Akko lady's eating because I haven't given her any food. Uh, I know these mushrooms are poisonous, so I'm not going to pick any more of them up. I don't know why I need poison mushrooms. Maybe I can make like poison arrows later or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Right. It doesn't seem need a lot of grass for buildings. Is this him? Hey! Hey! Right, King Yo told me he gave you a task. Yes, he told me to hunt and bring in three pieces of cooked meat to make me tougher, he said. It's really hard. You're distraught. I know I should be brave, but my father, when he was still alive, told me it's wrong to kill animals. It's stupid, I know. Look kid, perhaps... Oh, no! Uh, you would? Thank you, I guess. Apparently, King Yol does it all with his bare hands because he didn't bother giving me a knife. Where can I find something to hunt? There's plenty of hare farms around, but they're also small and quick. They didn't have much meat in them. Uh, so you may want to look for deer, but please don't tell me what you decided. I don't want to know. Oh, get a knife and a spear. Okay. Okay, that's a spear. Build that. And let's build a knife. I get three meat, for example, by hunting and skinning animals. Okay. Right, I guess that's the task then. Uh, let's get the skear, the spear in five, and the knife in six. Right, so where am I off to? Oh, I've just got to find stuff, do I? Great. Well, this could take a while. I think I see some... <gasps> it's a deer. Right. Let's do this properly. I hope one spear kills him. Right, come on. No, it doesn't! God damn it! He's running off my spear! Come back! <laughs> He's sticking out his ass! Come back, come back! Give me my spear back! <laughs> Oh my god sakes. Oh, come back please. Please. No, I'm stuck in a rock. That's not fair. Come on, please come back. I'm sorry. We can be friends. I'm not gonna hurt you anymore. Come on, I almost caught him. I ran out of stamina. Come on. Right. Right, keep an eye on him. I need a log. Why do I need a log to make a spear? I gotta get him. I gotta sneak up on him. Please don't lose him, please don't lose him. What the hell? Where'd he go? There's a pig down there. I may have lost deer, but I found a pig. Uh oh. Oh, I got him! 
Yes, get him. Eleven meat. Sick. That's amazing. Ray, we can go back. Now, I was looking at the map just to get home. And I can see, I just want to show you this. On the left-hand side, it's got a little uh, legend there. Um, so you've got the quest objective, player villages, neutral villages. So it's also got shrines, places of power, enemies, traders, and refugees. So what in interests me, <laughs> interests me, is the neutral villages. Because I haven't come across any villages yet, so that's going to be pretty cool to just find a random village and stuff where I can trade and that. And the enemies. Now, from what I remember from um, Medieval Dynasty, I don't think it was a combat game. I think it was just hunting. So if there is enemies in this, uh, don't, get me that, don't get me wrong, that boar almost killed me. So hopefully that's not an enemy. But if there are enemies in this, like raiders and stuff like that, that would be pretty damn awesome. So I just want to show you that. My friend should be around here somewhere. Where is he? Where's the kid? There he is. Hey! You big sissy. Stop walking away! I swear to God, I have the meat right here. Can you all want to cook? Oh! oh. oh sorry. <laughs> Can you want to cook? Me, 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 me. Okay, let's go kick three meat then. I should probably put away this knife. Yeah. Don't want to go scaring my people now, do I? Uh, cook meat. One, two, three. Okay. Right. Let's go back to Mr. Bossy Boots. Oh, what's that? Is that another nest? Harvest nest. Oh. No, <laughs> it's empty. Must be the one I got earlier. Why are you out in the dark on your own when you already know I have the meat? Don't walk further away. Do you know how far I've just run to get your meat? Here you go. Here, I have cooked the meat. Thank you. I'll take it to him right away. Wait a moment. Have you eaten today? Don't worry about me. Since mum and dad died, I got used to it. I can go for two days without food. You know, Kenjiro says it's a sign of discipline. He says, what? Kenjiro is using you. Eat the meat. You need the shrimp. See? You are tough off the... Nah. I want the... Oh, do I want the warrior? Do I want... I want him. Oh, gosh. Which one? Which one? Eat the meat. Perhaps you're right. I've been feeling not all that well. Okay. Oh, now I've got to go break the news to him. And... <laughs> well, what was that other game I was playing? Red... Ranch simulator. The jumping's just like that. What's up with these building games jumping like that? There he is. Oh god, here we go. I'm gonna pay for this, aren't I? Aye. Kikumatsu has completed the hunt. <laughs> I had to read his name a few times then. How do you know? And where's the meat? I told him to eat it. Do you realize how hungry he was? That's his problem, not mine. His parents are dead and the kid has to learn to survive in his own. It's just a child you're responsible for him. Um, oh, the ragtag refugee is trying to teach me... Oh, excuse me, how to treat people. Uh, pupils, thank you for the lesson I can do about it. Uh, I know what's going on here. You act high and mighty of me because you hope others will be impressed by how caring and merciful you are. Oh, well, good luck with that. Someone will buy this sort of crap, but I know better. Scram before I get angry. Oh, no. Okay, I've unlocked stuff, but... Stop sniffing around. We're going to see setting up an outpost like mine. Things will get ugly. Oh. Well, that's not good, is it? Oh. So, first mission. Not so successful. Right, I just have to not choose the good thing to do next time because it's screwing me over. Dynasty management. Oh, God. She's not happy. Oh, have I got the other guy? Oh, wonderful. I got the other guy. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, village. No, I did not get the other guy. Right. You're not very happy, are you? Let's change your job. You can be uh, my... Um, woodcutter's hut. There we are. Uh, go get some logs for me, please. General storage required to provide a tool. 
Okay. Let's go do that then. So I'll put an axe in there. Oh, I've got so many jobs, so little people. Okay, so apparently I looked at a video online. Apparently what I'm doing wrong is there needs to be a general storage for certain items like tools and stuff that they can get the item from. So I need to go get some stone. Oh there we go. And then I need to why aren't I hitting that? Stop being a wait, I'm using the wrong tool am I? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what's going on. Oh, my axe is broke, that'll do. Ten stone, okay. So let's build an axe. Let's put the axe into there. Okay, and now I should be able... Requires any axe, there we go! There's your axe. Right. You're having... You can be put to work. I want maximum of those. And you can get some of... all oh, these as well, if you could find them. Ah, uh, requires another axe. Okay, now forget that. Okay, let's put that bitch to work. Okay, so I've got my little village on the go. Um, right. Okay, I should probably do some more missions. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting sucked into this. I'm really enjoying it. Let's see if I can talk to him still. Uh, what do you want? How's the hunt going? Talk to yourself because I sure hell I'm not gonna talk. Yeah, he warned me to stay away from him and his hunting uh, lodge, but I've kind of built my village around it. I think it's one of these is hunting. I think this is it here. But yeah, I've, I've built my whole village around it. So I'm really sorry, pal, but I ain't going nowhere. Well, anyway, my village seems to be doing well. I need to get some more people. I need to do some more missions to get more people. And I need to build some more buildings for sure. But she's going to collect my wood from now on. So I can get on with other things. Um, I think that is probably a good place to leave the video. I'm not going to lie. I've actually spent the last two nights playing this. Uh, getting to the stage I am now. I've cut out a lot of it. So you don't have to see me cutting wood for hours and then. And usually I don't like these sort of grindy games. But it sort of sucked me in. I'm, I'm interested to see how far this can go. And how much I can excuse me, progress my village and stuff. So yeah, let's um, head over to the review. Okay then, down to the review. Um, <clears throat> so, let's start off with the usual. We'll go in the usual order. I have six categories. Um, please note, if it's your first time watching, I am not a professional reviewer. I, <laughs> I don't really know the logistics of games and stuff but I've just put it down into six categories which I think is important when playing a new game <clears throat> here we go so first of all I've got the graphics now graphically I was very surprised um, it, it, it looks very dense it looks very uh, there seems to be a lot going on around and stuff and just I haven't even viewed most of the map but there's uh, lots of different di uh, different territories and stuff that I know there's mountains with snow and there's seasons and uh i'm sorry i'm getting off the graphics there. i don't think the seasons have anything to do with graphics but still um it does at one point in the background game footage you can see it starts to rain thunder and lightning and it, it just i think it looks really good i was quite impressed with the graphics for an early access game um <clears throat> so i've given the graphics an eight out of ten Okay, uh, next one is the atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere, um, I'm not sure how loud the game sound is over my voice because I talk a lot, uh, but you can hear the birds tweeting in the backgrounds. You can hear the trees blowing. It's quite peaceful. It's what I'd imagine, like, the forests of Japan to sound like. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I would give it a really high rating. I I've got a couple problems. And although I said the dialogue doesn't bother me, right, because uh, the uh, the characters speaking and stuff like voice actors, uh, it reminds me a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, um, duh, 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 Knights of the Old Republic, which is one of my favourite games, okay? So it doesn't really bother me. There's a lot of old games like that, so, you know, I don't know why people are crying about it. But what worries me 
is that when I get a big village of a lot of population, I think it'd be nice to go from this silence of the village with just background noises to, <clears throat> excuse me, to hearing all the hustle and bustle, walking around, people talking to each other, and I think that will create a better atmosphere. Um, so I've got a bit of a problem with that. Like, it'd be, even if like they had like repeating phrases from people and stuff, like it's easy to put that in. Um, that would increase the atmosphere of it. Um, but even walk, but then walking through the woods, hearing the little streams going past, and you know, like the trees. Like I said, I I did really like it. Um, but that was my minus point. So I gave that a seven out of ten. Map design, I think. It looks really good. Like I proper feel like it's a. I mean, you know, Japan in the in the in the outskirts of Japan, and um, you know, so far I've come across beaches, I've come across jungles, forests, um, streams. I've walked into little bamboo forests, and I haven't even tried to venture the mountains properly. I haven't even gone out of the north of the map yet and gone down south or anything like that. I'd like to see more of that, but the map design itself, I was really surprised how big that map is, and when I looked on the map when I was at my territory, when I'd walked like 500 meters, which seems like it took ages, I'd barely covered any of the map, so um, map design, uh, taken into account, it's early access as well, um, I've given that a 9 out of 10, which is pretty damn bloody good, um, but yeah, I really like the map so far. Um, next one is uh how easy is it for first timers um i'm very much aware that i complained a lot i think my problem was when we first started right is that they said you can pick somewhere else to start setting up your village i could have spent an hour walking or however long the map is walking all the way down to the south and started setting up a village there it was the fact that it kept asking me to go back to the original quest guy. And that's why I moan so much, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, first time as well as playing, uh, there were some good tutorials. Like, it did take me through the basics and stuff. I did learn a lot. There was, it obviously gives the action buttons on screen as well, which is what I like. Like, I need to be reminded all the time. Like, um, when you've got the logs on the ground, like, you can use the axe to get sticks out of it. Or you can use the that other thing I forgot what it's called now to get bark off of it, and then you either use that other thing again to get the planks, or you use the axe to chop into firewood. So it does keep reminding you to do those sorts of things. Uh, the only thing I've given it negative points for is the fact that, as you saw from the video, <clears throat> is that I struggle to know what building does what. There's a lot of storage stuff. There's a lot of assigning things. And uh, I did struggle with that. I did have to look online. I did find a help page in the settings, but it wasn't quite enough for me. Um, for someone who's bad at games, uh, it was a little bit hard at some points to know what I needed. I think I've got lots of buildings, lots of storage that I probably don't even need. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I still could have good fun not fully knowing, so I've given that a 7 out of 10. Game time, I definitely think you could spend a long, long time in this. Like I said in the video, I spent two nights playing this. Uh, there was a lot of grinding, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think when you've got lots of like carpentry places, all collecting your wooden stuff, and I, I just think expanding, like, I want to see what's next. I want to see who I can get doing what. I want to see what jobs they can do. There was things I pointed out on the map about enemies. There's things I pointed out about places of interest and stuff. The map size itself is huge. Uh, there's uh, neutral villages that seem to have people in you can do missions for as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you could spend a lot of time in this. Like, I could quite easily spend a lot of time myself in this. So I've given that a 9 out of 10. Uh, would I play again? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I would quite happily have played it tonight if I didn't have to do the editing of this video. Uh, I've been looking forward to playing it again. I really want to play it again. I'm quite truthful <clears throat> about would I play again section because I think I gave the last game Stalker. I think I gave it a... Uh, I can't even remember now. 
Gave the last Stalker game a 7. And I did play that again. And I played it a couple more times. Kept dying. Deleted it. The same as uh, um, Ranch Simulator. I think I gave that an 8 would I play again. I have played that since. And I'm still enjoying it a little bit. A little bit. No, I'm still enjoying it. But yeah, this uh, I will definitely play again. I'm probably going to play it tomorrow night. So I've given that a 10 out of 10. You can't get more than that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. <clears throat> so overall, I have got a 50 out of 60, which is a very respectable uh, rating. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. I, I definitely love the fact that it's Japanese themed. I couldn't quite get on board with the medieval theme. Uh, that may be more your sort of game, but I feel like this is more of a nerd. Okay, now on to my uh, mental health quote of the week. Now, I've got another controversial person here. I think one of the first ones I did was Jordan Peterson, but I think this one's probably a little bit more. Um, he was one of my favourite rap artists. I think he was doing huge things. He was so diverse in his music, and... He had a bit of a troubled past, and he didn't do the, make the best decisions, but he completely changed his ways, and he was trying his hardest towards the end. And when I say towards the end, that's because he was murdered. Um, R.I.P. Um, but his name is XXX Tentacion. I mean, I've listened to his music repeatedly. There's some songs that I really love about him, and they've got me through some really hard times. But... And anyone who knows him, uh, he, he, he goes off and rants about his mental health and stuff. And in the past, it was all like, more about being selfish. But like, don't trust anyone. Don't love anyone. You know, being distrustful and everything. But as he progressed, like, it's like he evolved into someone who wanted to share more positive thinking. And one of the positive thinking ones he said uh, was, I could never say I understand how you are feeling. Uh, nor can I find the right words to say to you but I do want you all to know you are not alone and the reason I really like this quote is because I remember when I first started going through my mental health and I started feeling down I started talking to my parents about it my mum was quite understanding of it my dad and, and this is nothing against him was a bit more frustrated and that was because I had such a loving upbringing I, I didn't have any struggles at all like uh, I had a loving family I had lots of friends I did go through a hard time when I was moved away and I lost all my friends I felt very lonely but all in all I was very looked after um, and even in those times my parents tried to do everything they could to make me happy um, so for him it was more of a, a bit of a kick in the teeth going I've given you everything how are you depressed you know he used to say like there's people in Africa like starving there's kids being abused and stuff like why why are you upset and and although I didn't I know he didn't mean wrong by that it did make it worse for me because I used to sit there and think to myself how selfish I was being when I was down going you know what have I got to be upset about you know I haven't got any real reason to feel like this right now this is wrong and I didn't and I didn't want to tell it made me not want to tell people more about them because people like what you, I used to think everyone would have the same perception of it and think what have you got to be upset about? But <clears throat> the reason that relates is because, like, obviously, we all have different reasons for why we're down. We all have different reasons for why we're not feeling ourselves. I think there's categories in which, like, we can all um, we can all feel the same with. So as in, like, uh, you know, like a lot of us feel like, oh, you know, we're living the same life every single day. We get up, we go to work, we do this, we do that, we go to bed, we go up, we go to work. And it repeats itself every day and we don't feel like we're going anywhere in life. But then there's, um, I think there's more context to that then for each individual person in that, okay, it's because I'm not doing this every day or I am doing this every day or this is making me feel more down because I've got this sort of boss or I've got this sort of person, excuse me, excuse me, saying this sort of thing to me every day, like a girlfriend, boyfriend, friend, whatever. And I think advice that works for you doesn't always work for everyone else. And yes, I think it's great to give advice. And yes, I think it's great to, you know, read some of these quotes online and everything. But I think one of the best things you can do sometimes is just listen. Like, um, if someone comes to you and says, you know, I'm feeling down at the moment because this, this and this, rather than going, oh yeah, I know exactly how you feel. I've been there. It's, 
you don't know exactly how they feel. You've got some sort of sense of their feeling because you felt in a similar position, uh, but you don't know exactly how they feel because you're not in their mind. I think it's better just to go, what is it? Tell me about it. What do you think is getting you down? Listen to them. Don't tell them how it is. Listen to how it is. And I've always found that's better. And, of course, after you can say, listen, I, I, I have gone through similar. This helped me. You can try it rather than going, oh, this will fix everything for you. Because when it doesn't fix everything for them, they feel even more lost. So I think it's better to listen than it is to talk. Um, but, yeah, that's my advice. Once again, like the game review, I'm not an expert in this sort of stuff. I've been through my situations. I, I've had certain jobs that include this, but that's just my advice. Anyway. Uh, thank you for watching and I shall catch you on the next one.